Hey, babies. What's going on? It's your girl, Pujay. Yes, I know it's been a minute. I get it. I'm sorry. And I'm back. And um, I'm thankful that you guys stuck around so you can make it to this video. I've been going through some things and uh, I don't know. This year, 2020, has been a rough ride, and uh, I was in a funk. I ain't gonna lie, you girl ain't gonna lie, I was in a funk. But we about to be out of this funk, okay? We about to get in. We about to get in it. We about to try to show out. Try. Try being the word. Try to show out. All right. This look that I'm going to do tonight is going to be a look from my girl, Melissa Semis. Told you I was going to put you in here, girl. Melissa, she wanted a burgundy gold look representing her Christmas holiday feels. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to do a burgundy gold look. I'm going to attempt to do that for you, J-Babies, tonight. And we're going to see uh, what those two looks inspire. Okay? So uh, what we're going to do is be using... Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2, Nubian 2, that's what we're going to use. I'm going to show you the colors that we're going to use in it. We're going to use these three. I'm just going to go down this line, you know, and that's supposed to be, that's Jezebel, so it's like a dark, let me see if I can get close, a dark wine dark, deep wine. And then we have uh, Morocco right here. That's going to be my transition color. And then we have, uh, y'all know I can't see? That looks like Nairobi, but you know, let me put it up here. So yeah, that's what it is, Nairobi. We're going to use Nairobi, Jezebel, and Morocco. Y'all already know I can't see. Psh. So, without further ado, let's get into this, okay? So, we're going to start this look off by moisturizing. About to get real country on y'all, moisturizing. Moisturizing the face. What I'm using is uh, oil control lotion from MAC. I don't know if y'all can see that because this light. There we go. That's what I'm using to moisturize my face with. I'm using that, okay? And your girl is oily, so I know it's like, girl, you don't need no more oil on your face. But hey, got to do what you got to do. You still need oil on your face. It doesn't matter if you're oily. You don't want to be around here looking all a hot mess, do you? Mm -mm. Is this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer? Yeah, I moisturize. If y'all hear loud noises, I'm sorry. I got to set stuff down. And I'll put the primer right where I tend to get oily at. I do it on my eyebrows because they remember to my eyebrows be. I put it on my eyes. You know, I just do it like the moisturizer pretty much. I ain't going to lie. I'm right. That was the e.l.f. primer. Now we're going to do these brows. Let me find my brow brush. So I'm just going to use this little mascara one to brush up my brows. Get them where I need to get them. They need to be done. Okay. So y'all yeah, just bear with these brows, baby. Okay, this is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using this Espresso Brown. Eyebrow gel by the company called Love. I don't know where I got this from. I think I got it from the drugstore. And I never used it. So, we're going to be using it tonight. And, you guys, it's been a minute. So, bear with me. And if I mess this up, it don't matter. Because I'm going to clean it back up with some concealer.
Hey J babies, I've already done my eyebrows off camera. I I'ma tell you what concealers I use. I used Elf Deep Cinnamon and NW30 from Mac Pro Wear Concealer to go underneath my eyebrows and the NW30 Mac Pro Concealer, Pro Wear Concealer, Long Wear. Let me start jacking this up. Okay, here we go. Y'all know I can't see, so y'all gotta read it. NW30 Pro Long Wear Concealer. This is what I used right underneath my brows, that lighter color, okay? And then I used the Deep Cinnamon Concealer from e.l.f. to go right on my eyelids that I'm patting in now. On top, I use the deep cinnamon as well to go on top. That's what I've used right here. Elf Long. What did I say? Well, duh, Janet. 16 hour camo concealer. Elf 16 hour camo concealer. Let me tell you, this camera is good because, baby, I can see without my glasses. Y'all know I'm batting 100, okay? Without them glasses. This brush that I'm using is my Morphe brush. And it doesn't have a number, guys. If it had a number, I'd give it to you. But this is what it looks like. Morphe. That's what I use to pat my eyelids with it tends to work really really well gets it all patted down and flattened out and since I've got that all blended out I'm going to seal it with a powder I'm just using this air spun powder and I'll show you what it looks like I'll show you the lid once I pat this out to get all the creases and I do that to both eyes. See how that looks now? It's not creased. See that? That's why you put powder on top of your concealer. Okay? And I like to use that air spun Kind of at the top, too. I just kind of brush it up there. And I'm just taking a fallout from my hand. Y'all got to bear with these eyebrows, baby, because they need to be done. They look in a hot mess. Okay, I'll show you what I'm using. I got this from Target. Loose face powder. And it's in translucent extra coverage. Now we're just gonna go right into this, the uh, Nubian Two palette. I'm gonna go right in with this. Uh, here we go, Ruby May, two two two, blending brush. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna use this one for that translucent color. I said I was gonna use, not translucent. But my um my blending color. Y'all, I forgot what to call it, honey. The color I lay down first. Oh, hey. Let's do that. It'll come back to me. It just ain't coming back to me right now. It's trans... I, I almost had it. It ain't translucent. But... Y'all know where I'm getting at. The first color you lay down. Alright. That's what we doing. The first color you lay off and see this. See how I'm just going back and forth? And that's kind of like right in that crease area, but kind of like above it. Not all the way up to the brow bone. But, you know, right there. Now I'm going to take another brush, another Morphe smaller as you can tell 
It's a smaller one. I mean, it's kind of like on the same verge. It's shaped a little different, but it's a Morphe one. And now we're going to go in with Jezebel. Pick up some Jezebel. That's how much I got. Let me get a little more. Because I need Jezebel to show up. Okay. Well, that's what I got now. I don't know if I should have done that. And I'm just going to pat first. Because I want to see what it's going to look like first. Okay. Then we're just going to put that right over the top of that. Put it right over the top of Morocco. Ooh, I like that, guys. See how that looks? That's what I'm talking about. Just get it in there. And you can see that Morocco around the edges. Now, I'll take my brush, but I won't add anything else to it. And I'll just go around the edges of that Jezebel. All right. Now that we have that, we're going to go in the bottom with this. I use this Morphe. There's no number. Let me show y'all what this brush looks like. It's kind of like a fat semi. Not really flat, but you know, you can flatten it out if you squeeze it. So we're going to use that. And we're going to go in with this Nairobi down here. And we're just going to get that. And I got that much. If y'all can see that. Uh, I'm just going to pat it on there first. Now I'm going to go back in the Jezebel. I picked up a little more. All right. Now I'm just going to go offline and do the other. I got eye. the lashes on. The lashes that I've used are The Girl Next Door by Row Beauty Cosmetics. Go to rowbeauty.com. You can get The Girl Next Door. Those are the lashes that I utilized. And now we're going to go in with the foundation. We're going to use NYX. Okay. NYX stay matte but not flat. And this is in the color chestnut. Squeeze about that much. Probably a little bit more. Out on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to get my MAC. Y'all already know what I got to do. Nope, it looks like 190. It's either 100 or 190, but the number's rubbed off, so I can't really tell. And we're just going to put that all over our face. I'm probably going to need some more because y'all, your girl got a big face, okay? So we're going to get a little more. Cause your girl, your girl got a cram, okay? I don't even know why I tried to act like my face was little. Y'all know better than that. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. Well, it's not the beauty blender, it's a knockoff. Cause you know, your girl is cheap, okay? Your girl is cheap. This one? And we're just gonna pat. This way I can take, I can make sure it's going into my skin rather than just sitting up there perpetrating the fog. All right, now I'm gonna use my e.l.f. 16 hour concealer again. Take our knockoff. And blend. Now we're going to go in with uh, NYX. It's going to be in the color Espresso. It's the high definition studio concealer. And I just two dots because this stuff is potent. And then I go underneath because you know we got to Act like we got a neck. This Cleo 
and there's no number. It looks like that. And I'm just going to do this. All right, now we're going to do a lighter concealer. We're going to do, uh, what is this one? It's another Elf. 60 hour camo. That better not be decent. Deep olive. Okay, we're gonna take deep olive. Stick it right there. We're just gonna do that and let that. We're gonna let that sit like that. Okay, and then we'll do that in a minute. All right, your girl's going to go ahead on and use this blender and blend this out right here in this little corner. Now, we're going to take the MAC Studio Fix. I don't think I can see the back no more. Maybe I can. NW40. Oh, if I can turn it around. NW40. And it looks like this. That's gonna go under my eye, okay? Now I'm gonna use uh, this MAC Skin Finish. It's gonna go down my nose, dark, deep. I'm gonna use this, I think it's an e.l.f. brush. I think that's what it is, yeah. Ankle contour brush and I use this is what it looks like guys and I use this to go right down my nose and I like to hit the corners of my nose I got this from Savannah Silver because she's always saying you want to look like you still have a nose Then we go in with the Fenty Beauty, okay? Mocha Mommy. I don't know if y'all can see that. Mocha Mommy. And I just put that where I had that deep color, that espresso. Then I go in with my Fenty Beauty Nutmeg, okay? Pro Film loose powder and that's going to go I'm gonna use this dough color brush it's pretty cute I'll be all over the place with these brushes honey trying to get this stuff in this camera baby I still ain't got this down see that then I go like this I do oh it smells so good I love this stuff because it smells so and I push it into my skin. Oh, I should have dusted that off some. And then I kind of go over the rest of my skin to like blend it in. What I am going to do is go ahead and give a plug real quick. Okay. To uh, a co-worker's children. They're seven. He has a daughters that are seven. He's teaching them about business. So he helped them to do a little lip gloss business. All right. This is the business card. You can find them on Facebook and Instagram. Lip gloss and accessories. This is the card, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching. And I'm going to show you the product that I purchased. I am like really, really impressed because this is a father that is helping his daughters and teaching them about businesses. And he wanted them to be able to have a business of their own when they grow up so they could be educated on what it takes to run a business. Okay, these are the glosses and uh, things I purchased. Okay, let's look at this. 
They're so cute. This one's called Morning Sky, and it's with coconut oil and coconut flavor. And it's lippies. It's 10 milliliters. And this one has like the blue flakes in it. Let me uh, do this. See that? The blue flakes in it. Ooh, and my lips are dry too. And I'm, <laughs> I'm about to use some of this, baby. This one is Dream with coconut oil, 10 milliliters. And it's got like the, look like a gold, a whitey, a white. Kind of like a white glittery. This is where I will be purchasing some lip glosses from too. Black Girl Magic all the way. Okay, Dream, Morning Sky, and Royal Lippies. Okay, Royal Lippies. This is the Royal Lippies. Okay, let's see. Can I open it, y'all? I'm, <laughs> I'm having problems, okay? Y'all just bear with me. Oh, it's a little... Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a gloss, baby. It's a gloss. Oh, I like it too. And it's so smooth. Y'all let me be on here all this time with these dry, whack lips. I ain't said nothing the first. Oh, y'all wrong. I don't know about y'all. Look how cute that is. And when you put it in there, it just bounces right back out. Mm. And it feels so good on your lips. This is... Okay, this is really cute. You see that? Oh, I'm going to buy some more of these. Uh-huh. I'm coming back, royalty. Am I saying it right? Yep, royalty by TNT. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all forgive me. Royalty by TNT has their lippies, baby. Get yourself some. Support some young black girls' businesses that are tr that are learning from their father about being entrepreneurs. Go ahead and do that for them. They deserve it. And it feels good, too. Okay, y'all tripping if y'all don't. Babies, we're going to go right in with some blush, okay? And we're going to use the... Uh, Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette, okay? We're going to go in and use the middle. Neo up here and Toby down here. Okay, guys, it was just too much going on. So you guys know how I put on blush. This is what this is. All right, peace. Now we're going to do a lippy. You know what I'm using. I've always used it. Chestnut. Just going to line my lips with chestnut. We're gonna go in with a nude color. Gingerbread by Ro. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see. It's my first time using it. Oh, that's cute. That's Gingerbread by Ro. Hey, babies. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you like, share, comment down below, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So the next time that Pujay comes online, you will be what? You will be notified. Bye. Love you guys. Till next time. <laughs>